Have you ever read a huge document and you're looking at it going, gosh, just give me the summary of it. I don't need to read everything. Just what are the key points? Well, Microsoft has what's called Auto Summarize, and it will highlight certain key text or phrases throughout your document that word guesses are the most important points. So if you want to take your chances with that, you may uh, find it very helpful. First of all, it's not found anywhere on the tabs that I could find, but I can add it to the Quick Access Toolbar by right-clicking on the Quick Access and customizing it. Click on the uh, Choose Commands from instead of Popular, let's view all the commands down here below. And then just scroll down here a bit to look for Auto. And there it is, the Auto Summary tool, so I can just double-click on it to add it over to the right-hand side. So when I click OK, it adds it to the Quick Access Toolbar. There it is, it's listed up above. Go ahead and click on it and then go right down to Auto Summarize. Opens up a little window for us to uh, decide how we want to summarize this. We can either highlight the key points throughout the document, so you're looking at an overall view of a document, you can see the little red lines. It's saying that it will go ahead throughout your document and highlight it in yellow, those, those key points. So you can hand it off to somebody saying, well, here, my document's 50,000 pages long, but it's highlighted what the key points are. The other thing you can do is create a new document and just put the summary in there so it extrapolates, uh, copies out key points and puts it in a new document and you can just print that off and hand it to somebody. Or you can insert it as an executive summary so it takes the summary and it puts it up at the top and your main document is down below. So the red is the summarize and it puts it at the beginning of your document. Or you can hide everything uh, but the summary without leaving the original document. So it just basically hides that document. In other words, have you ever done this, selected some text, and then come up here and click on the font expandable dialog box button and hidden it and then clicked OK so it's no longer there. <laughs> well, I have. In any case, the, the way you can find it is you can come up here and click on the show hide codes and automatically it reveals it, but when you click on it, it's gone. So that's the only way you'll be able to see it. But at least it keeps it from printing, so if you don't want something to print, I mean, there's a good point, right? But I could always come back in here and if I'm not sure if it's hidden or not, just actually you can hit Control-A, select everything, and then hit the dialog box. And you can see it's partly shaded because it's saying, look, part of what you selected is already revealed. Part of what you selected is hidden. I don't know whether to check this or not, so I'll give you a partial filled box here or a filled box. Just go ahead and click it and click it again to remove everything and click OK, and, you know, you're back to normal. So, in other words, it will hide this, okay? Alright, let's go back up to it, click on it, go down to Auto Summarize, and you can do it by percentage of the original words. So in other words, do you want to have a summary 25% of your document, 30% of your document you want to summarize? Of course, if you do 100%, then hey, nothing's going to happen because everything's important, right? When I'm done, I'm just going to say uh, highlight the key points and click OK. And there's, throughout the document, what it thought were the key points. The title, gosh, uh, some lyrics here. King for a day is a summary, and then I scroll down here, and it didn't find anything else. So it's kind of like a, a crapshoot here, I guess, is what people would say. In any case, if you want to get rid of this, you no longer want it, click on the drop down arrow again, and you can resummarize this, or you can go ahead and close out, and it removes it. And then when you're finished with this, you can always right click and remove it from your quick access toolbar, or quat. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.